Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to another map review with me, Simulation for the Nation. I hope you're all doing very well on this fine, fine day where we have finally got our hands on Peterville Farm. Uh, this map is made by MJ Modern and it is available as of today for PC, Mac and all consoles. And what do we get? Well, we're going to have a look around it in a minute, but to start with, uh, according to Modern, we have uh, all farm builds are static animated objects. Uh, the map includes all Farm Simulator 19 features, 49 fields, small, medium and large for farms, one yard, a BGA, one shop and a great sell point. Uh, we are able to have cows and sheep and pigs and chickens on here with three new models included across the map, uh, as long with uh, custom transport missions and a new water shader, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to have a look into this map and it is, in my opinion, well, it looks fantastic. I've seen very, very little of it at this stage. Uh, this is going to be my first look. As we come into the game here, we look at the, uh, the the PGA map. As you can see, we start with three fields, number 41, number 28, and 27. We're going to have a little bit of a look around the whole map, though. Uh, and we're starting here, but we need a vehicle in which to do so. And it's going to be a trusty Land Rover today. So, and we're not going to drive it, thankfully. We're going to jump into it. We're going to start it up. And... So Jeeves is going to drive us around here, we're going to have a look at everything as we go, but to start with, look at that farmhouse, that looks pretty darn special, I think you will agree. Uh, onwards though please Jeeves, let's see what's up next. Uh, so, as we head into, this is what is going to be the main yard here, you can see it's very compact, I really like the feeling to this. Uh, this map immediately strikes me as two things, there are two different types of map here for me, there are... Um, We've got Shamrock Valley and we've got Sandy Bay. Those two combined look great. Now we're going to jump out here. Uh, Mr. Jeeves is going to stop. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's have a quick look around. The detail around here, the cluster is, or oh, no, the clutter is fantastic. But yeah, we've still got a lovely blend of old and new. So old buildings, brand new shiny buildings. So let's have a look at what's in here and equipment. We've got a few things. So we've got a Massey. Good man, we got a Massey. We always got to start with a Massey. Uh, so a few bits of start equipment there. Uh, if we look at this shop, we've got quite an array to start with. We've got a, uh, two masses and a fent, uh, a new Holland Combine, that's our Land Rover that we just added in, and then the uh, selection of equipment to go with it. So plenty to get going with. Crucially though, plenty to sell if you want a little bit of extra money. Balloons back. So as we head around the corner, the ma it goes on. This is almost like a little bit hidden, really, uh, when you first come in. You just don't see this. It's much bigger than you ever imagined. Much bigger than I thought as well. I love it. Look at the size of it. Plenty of storage space, plenty of stacking space, uh, plenty of uh, place for grain stores as well. Up here there's a bigger massy, a couple of drills and the ground equipment. That's fantastic. Look at this silage pit. Whoa! Yeah boy! I like those a lot. I really like those. Good old fashioned silage pits there. Uh, another nice looking shed. Hey, that's a really nice shed. That looks like a new model to me. I think that looks glorious. Really good looking shed, that. Uh, super. And again, it sneaks around the corner again. It kind of snakes around this yard. It really does. Plenty of tipping area. Plenty of good looking buildings to boot. Uh, look at all this, like, the detail of the tires on the back of the building. That's a great little touch, MJ. That is really, really nice. And then your, your standard kind of cattle buildings that we get used to see, but they again, they really do fit this map. So again, main yard is huge. It's fantastically big. Everything that you'll need on here, in my mind. I can't wait to kind of get settled in there with all the clutter in and around the, the trees and the greenery. Really does suit it. And this main yard is very central, which I really do like. As I bring up... Uh, Bring up our map here, you can see we're kind of banging in the middle of all of the fields, which is great. So now what we're going to do is we are going to continue, and off we go again. Uh, so we're just going to keep in third person as we drive around here. Now we've d I've designed a little bit of a loop here so that we kind of cover all of the ground really, and all of the maps see some of the best features. And we're just going to have a look at see what strikes my eye. Uh, we're going to stop at a few interesting points. Now I have toggled off the traffic for this purely because... Uh, well, the, it's difficult to use cosplay in traffic at the best of times, never mind when I'm not really looking at what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, love the detail of the country roads here. I think these look really nice. Now this to me is Sandy Bay all over, really really is. And then, just around the corner here we've got a beautiful little uh, stackyard really. Not a great deal to it, 
This is exactly what you think you'd need there for a second storage place. Uh, and now I have a few ideas for this in mind already. Um, and so we'll, we'll have to see what we can do there. But just look at the detail again. Lots of uh, lots of little bits and pieces stacked all over the place. A few little storage options there. Really, really nice touch. Uh, and we will go onwards. Nice little terrace house in there, really. Nice little row of houses in the uh, church. Really adds to the atmosphere. Really is beautiful. A lot of attention to detail on the small things here, like the non-playable, non-interactive features, which I think is very important. Really, really is. Now, the shop is down there. I have yet to go down there. Uh, there is a very quaint little shop down there, actually. Um, but there's a little terrace house there, and just a beautiful view down over the... Uh, down over the seafront there. Now what I might do is have a look into that in just a little bit at the end. Uh, but we're going to go up this country road. Uh, the BGA is coming up on our right. And yeah, it's... it's do you know what? This map has a huge potential for the BGA. Look at the number of grass fields we have around here. It, and also maize for that point as well. A lot, a lot of grass fields to work with. Could be really, really good for a silage map. I like how some of these lanes are a little bit tighter in some angles, a little bit more difficult, so you really have to come across it, find your best angle there, and stick to it. Uh, but yeah, this is really nice. There are a lot of the roads interconnect. Uh, there are three different color schemes of roads, green, red, and yellow. Um, if I bring up the map again, you'll see what I refer to. Red roads are the main roads, the yellow roads are the small minor roads that we've just been going along, and the green roads are small little tracks, really. Uh, and I'm sure we'll have a look at some of those as we go through. Like I say, BJ is, as you'd expect, plenty of turning circles, plenty of huge pits again. These silage pits are massive. Look at the size of that. I'm gonna be on all day to fill that, MJ. And on we go again. Couple of boats in the uh, in the bay there. Now I don't think they're moving. I don't think the consoles would allow that, but they still look pretty good. Nice bit of detail there to look at when you're farming in these fields. This I like. This is a really winding road. This reminds me so much of Shamrock Valley. I love it. Like, a really twisty road heading up the coaster. Nice steep hill. Even on the biggest tractors there, if you pull on the load, you're gonna know about it, which is a nice little bit of realism to inject into the game. Really, really do like that one an awful lot. And up we come some nice little buildings dotted around. Really adds to the the ambiance. No wooden track there. Well, that's kind of cute. Let's have a look, see where that goes, shall we? I'm intrigued. Get a nice little bit of detail. Fly tipping. You can never escape it. Never escape, but nice detail to have, sadly, is a, is a growing concern across the countryside. Another nice little field there. Uh, and then, yeah, just look at that. I, like, the attention to detail, the narrowness of the roads, the overgrowing trees, just look brilliant. Really, really do look brilliant. Look at that. That is, to me, that is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, a lot of, lot of detail there. Nice little puddle. Onwards! Now that is look at, just looking glorious. Have you ever seen anything like that except for Shamrock Valley? I think just stunning there. Really, really is beautiful. A lot of different shape and size of fields as uh, MJ referred to in the description there. We've got small, large and medium sized fields there. Everything that you'd ever need to play with. Uh, enough to keep you going on any occasion. Coming up to another farmyard now. This is a nice small farmyard here, actually nice and compact. It's going to be a little bit tight to turn around. But I think you'll agree we're going to do it. Now this to me looks like the sheepyard, but let's just uh, get out and have a look see, shall we? Anything in here? No. Oh, that's nice. I didn't expect to see that. I like that touch a lot. That's really good. Now this would indicate to me that it's sheep, because we've got a nice little bit of a, a pond. I spy a pond. 
So as you can see, the green track here that we are on is very much just like a grass track and a nice little pond at the bottom, which would suggest to me that this is a water access point. Um, plenty of opportunities there to get, uh, to fill up all of our troughs. Now this, this is a pig's, but I like this. The old trailer in the shed there, the pig yard. Beautiful. Really, really good. Really, I'm blown away by what we're seeing here. It just looks brilliant. And look at that. Oh, what a view! I love when you're in FS, I love working on a, a, a in a valley, because if you work on either side, the views are just captivating, frankly. That's a nice little windmill, hello to you. Bam, son, look at that. Good grief. So up here we have another little track up to our forest. And you know what? I think it's important to kind of judge what a, how good a map the detail is uh, detailed because you can tell by how good the forests are in my mind. If someone puts attention into detail in here, then you know you've got a well-made map. So we've got lots of different tree stumps, we've got some felled trees. Yeah, I like this. Ooh. I like this a lot. Hey, this is special. This is a really nice little forest area. Very, very nice. Very good indeed. However, I must not dwell on the on the depths of the forest. Let's get back to the truck there and see what else we can find. So this is out, like I say now. So do let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part is of the map. Uh, I would be uh, very intrigued to know. We've got some cotton here. If it was me, that would get plowed out pretty quickly. Yeah, do let, let us know which farm you're going to work on, what your main tasks are going to be, uh, which animal is going to keep, and all of that good stuff. Uh, because, yeah, I really do think it's up for your own creation, really. It looks fantastic. Good views over the over the valley. There you got a train bridge, a uh, viaduct in the distance. Wow. Good lord on the bicycle. That is looking good. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Now can you imagine what this would look like when Seasons eventually rolls in? It's just going to be fantastic. Such a stunning looking map with Seasons I can imagine. The light going across the, the bay there will be great. Now here we're coming down to a couple of cell points. This is quite a nice little junction actually. And there's a great little uh, feature along here I really like. First of all the detail on this cell point. Look at all the trucks we've got there. That looks pretty nice. So in there we will have various different opportunities to sell and buy uh, fertilizer by the looks of things. We've got a timber yard. So if you are into timber you can sell your wood chips or uh, wood directly there. Uh, and then right up at the end here this now I would see this as a as a car park really for the uh, little campsite here. However, would you not also agree that you could quite easily make this into a placeable? I think quite easily stick a few uh, a few different things in there and be happy with it. So yeah, that's something a little bit of a, a tip there you could use. You're welcome to it. Moving around the corner again. I'm gonna head right back up to where we came from. Um, bring up our map again. And then we are going to, we're gonna head over to the east of the map now. So you can see we're gonna go past fields 10, 12, 13. A lot of good sized arable fields along the west, the east hand side of the map there actually. That looks like it's gonna work out really well. Uh, we're gonna go around that little yellow horseshoe with the cluster of fields 19 and 20, 2, 23, 24 in. See how all that comes together, I think. But yeah, I'm, there is another little barn over there as well. So hey, we'll see what's, see what's awaiting us. 
We get a nice little small field so that you can roll in from one field into the other, into the other. Really do like it a lot. Very impressive indeed. A lot of time and effort gone into this map and it is abundantly clear with even the small things like the gateways there for example. A lot of good detail into those. Uh, I think it was Simulator who once said he does like a dirt track and I can wholeheartedly agree with him on that front. Very good, very good feature to have. Oh, that's a little uh, cell point there. I've got a market and a straw cell point as well. And in we come. What a lovely, lovely looking road. Nice few little bends in there. Makes it a little bit interesting. I just like the... I don't know. I can't put my finger on why I like this so much and what it is about it indeed. But yeah, it is just... Something's captivated me with it. It really has. And as you can see, there is another main yard over there that we have not... Uh, I think we're going to stop here. So, what we're going to do... We're going to have a bit of a hop over the fence and have a look at that one, I think. And also, by the way... As far as views go, I think that is just... That is pretty, pretty awesome. Anyway, let's go and hop through the fence. Let's go and have a quick look at what's going on over here. That's a nice looking uh, yard setup here, I must admit. Coming through this gateway. What's going on here? Nice little storage points. Again, that perfect blend really of old and new buildings. What's in here? Ooh, that's nice. That's nice, very nice. Building there. This is a good sized shed. Lot, so much storage space. But ooh, grain storage, silage pits, everything you need. These open? Oh yeah, they do. Oh, 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 nice. This is a nice building. This is a very nice building. Because you always need a basketball when you're on the loo. Yeah, that's very nice. I like that a lot. Good just uh, kind of secondary yard, really, I would say. Good to have around. Again, another huge shed there. Very, very well detailed. And as I say, look at the fields around it as well. You've got some huge arable fields here to work with. So you can really get stuck in. Uh, I'd be inclined to sell a lot of equipment off, maybe get a big loan and buy some of these huge fields and work out with that farm there, but hey, that's just me. Uh, we're going to jump back into the landy. Come here. And off we go then, but beautiful views all around. So that is kind of, we're on the other side of the valley now to the big yard. Uh, you can see it just down there, it is a pretty large setup really when you see it like this. Pretty mahusive. Uh, surrounded on all sides by some great fields, some uh, rising hills. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this. So the big question is though, what do we do on this map? We are obviously going to uh, try and do something where possible. Uh, now, I've had several requests in the past to bring back some old series. I've uh, had requests to do just uh, standard let's play, requests to try and do some new role plays as well, of which I have a few ideas, and also just to do a straight up as you like time lapse uh, or as you like uh, live stream even. So, my question to you folks are, oh, what would you like to see on this map? Uh, what would you like to see me play? I will stick up a poll at some stage within here. Do let me know down below, uh, drop a comment on the favourite part of this map, the favourite bit you enjoy, uh, any things you'd like to see from myself, Simulation for the Nation, on this map, and we will see what we can do. Uh, we're going to just drive straight back up to the main road now, 
uh, to the main farmyard, beg your pardon. Uh, and as we do so, we're just going to pan out. Give you a view of everything. Good gracious me, that is incredible. Very, very impressed, it's safe to say. So let's sling this into the yard. We've got some work to do here, so we're not going to hang around. We're just going to get stuck into it. For now, we're going to leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I have been Simulation for the Nation. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, as, as always, don't forget to hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we will see you in the next one. So until then, thank you ever so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Enjoy Peterville. Make sure you go to the Mod Hub and download and go in-game and make sure you give it five stars out of five. And we will see you in the next one. Till then though, have yourself a great day, enjoy the map, and we'll see you later.